One of the things that many people seem to really love are hidden secrets in video games, from secret endings, to areas, to the creepy and outright absurd. And from what I've seen on YouTube, the scarier it is, the better. And of course, Rockstar games are renowned for the mysterious secrets, such as the mystery behind Mount Chiliad in Grand Theft Auto V, Mount Sean in Red Dead Redemption 2, and Bigfoot in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. However, if you're a fan of bully myths and mysteries, you may have heard of a seemingly far-fetched rumour of its protagonist Jimmy Hopkins dying in a pre-release version of the game, specifically during the boss fight with Edgar Munson in Chapter 5. But is this mystery true? Well, let's find out. So, hello and welcome to today's episode of Bully Mysteries, and we're going to start off this investigation by firstly going over the origins of this rumour. Now, the origins for the death of Jimmy surfaced back in the early 2010s, when Buddy was finally being cracked by data miners who managed to crack into the Buddy audio files, and they managed to extract pretty much everything from the game's audio files, from character quotes to the in-game soundtrack, to even minor sounds the game uses for ambience. And it was when they was going through Edgar Munson's files that came across some unused and rather odd quotes. Now for the unaware, Buddy's really organised when it comes to its audio files, as it lists the character name first, then a mission ID. So for example, characters like Gary would be Gary underscore 101, which means welcome to Bullworth. And Edgar Munson doesn't appear at all in the final game until his boss fight and showdown at the plant. So the mission ID for that would be 5 underscore B. And these were the Edgar quotes that went completely unused. That burns, doesn't it? Nothing like a chemical peel for your skin, huh Jimmy? Poor little Jimmy taking an acid bath. Now initially, people believed that this could have been some kind of deleted Edgar attack where he just throws a removed weapon at Jimmy and we have to avoid it. And of course this makes sense, as in the Ernest Jones boss fight, we do see Ernest use a completely unobtainable weapon during the second phase of his fight, where he throws a load of dynamite at us and we just have to run and avoid it. And when we fight Johnny Vincent, he also has very specific quotes when he's fighting Jimmy. You're nothing but dirt, Jimmy! So that must be it then, just a deleted Edgar attack, nothing more to it. Well, that's what it was thought of at first. But as Buddy got more and more data mined, players found some rather creepy, disturbing and incredibly odd files which heavily implied Jimmy Hopkins actually falling and dying in acid. So let's go on to the proof that backs this up. So the first bit of evidence that actually full on confirms the falling into acid thing was the script data file for the mission itself. Now in the script it lists most things like coordinates, spawn points, if something's mission specific only, you know that kind of thing. Now for the Edgar boss fight, there's a very strange line of code called trigger name 5B fall into sludge. And the coordinates that are listed here are right below the area where Jimmy and Edgar have their fight. And this was the first bit of evidence that said that Jimmy was going to fall into this acid. However, there was seemingly no way of escaping Edgar Munson's area, so for the time being, players could not check to see if this bit of code was still unused. But this was a major confirmation that something twisted was hidden inside the mission. But there's a lot more evidence that players uncovered over time. The second bit was in the game's data files, where in the file liquid.dat only has two entries. The first entry here was for the pool water located in the gym, where it just says trigger, gym pool, liquid type water. Normal enough. But underneath that however is something much more damning. Trigger, chem plant acid O1, liquid type acid. Now, sadly, this file seems to go completely unused, as changing gym pool to acid doesn't actually do anything in-game. Now, apparently in the beta, the gym's pool was going to be full at one point before being drained, but nothing actually exists to back that up either. And I'm going to show you something that you're not actually going to believe right away. And that is, Rockstar Games were actually planning on letting Jimmy drown at one point. Now, this was framed by Deadpool XYZ, and the entire draining feature works incredibly well and Jimmy will struggle to swim just before he, well, drowns. <laughs> now in the final game, this was disabled as every NPC, at least according to Deadpool XYZ, has infinite health while they're in water. And if Jimmy gets knocked out in water, it'll just cut straight to a black screen. Now while this doesn't prove anything for the fight of Edgar, it definitely shows that Rockstar did consider something as dark and serious as draining children at one point. Now this feature was apparently restored in the Buddy MP mod. If you have another player in the water and let another player knock him out, the animation will play. But only for a very short while. But one thing that might actually disprove the whole Jimmy falling into acid thing, 
is the fact that Jimmy has no lines for screaming or being in pain. And Jerry Rosenthal recorded well over 2,800 individual lines for Jimmy, and not a single one of them contains anything remotely like pain. The closest we get to these are the ones where Jimmy's just knocked out, and even then he's not screaming in pain, he's just groaning on the floor, swearing revenge. Now pretty much every rock star protagonist except Jimmy Hopkins and Claude Speed have lines for being in pain. Maybe Jerry did have recordings of Jimmy in pain at one point, but they were cut. Now that is a possibility, but no evidence backs that up at all. There was also a very similar rumour about Gary Smith dying at the end of the game too, and this was found by a user called Madman from Bullyboard who claimed he knew a Rockstar insider, and this supposed employee said that Gary Smith was going to die at the end of the game, and the final showdown went through multiple changes. And much like this myth of Jimmy dying, it too was brushed off as complete nonsense. Until data miners found out there were at least three versions of Final Showdown planned, thanks to multiple music tracks left over, and a deleted seventh chapter where one mission would have taken place in the Bull Fail Cemetery, in front of some graves, and many players now believe that this had something to do with Gary's demise, and Madman was telling the truth about this Rockstar Insider. Now the fifth finding actually comes from, well, the mission itself. Now, earlier in the video I mentioned how it was near impossible to actually find out if this was true or not. Well, as time's gone on, modders have actually come up with all kinds of ways to break the game, mod the game, all that kind of stuff. And one of these mods that comes in handy is Noclip. Now, if you use a Noclip mod, play it as normal until you reach Edgar's second phase with the pipes. Once this begins, enable Noclip, Noclip over the acid, and just slowly lower Jimmy into it. The mission will fail instantly with the reason being you got knocked out. Now this is weird because, well, Jimmy isn't knocked out, we can still run around while this mission value reasons on screen. It's almost like as if Jimmy was going to fall into the acid very slowly, which would explain why this message pops up. So this is a bit of a post edit and I apologise my voice is a bit croaky because I've been a bit ill lately, but while making this video I was experimenting with the outcomes for the mission and I noticed some really weird things. First of all, during the first phase of the Edgar fight, if we put Jimmy in the acid, nothing actually happens at first. But as soon as we come back out, and we continue to fight Edgar as normal, the second we get his health down to yellow, the mission instantly fails with the reason being we got knocked out apparently. Which is the exact same reason we get when we put Jimmy in the acid during the second phase of the fight. Which is really peculiar. The second thing I noticed is the acid is actually a mission failure reason during the Edgar chase, so before the first part of the fight, the acid valley reason is still there. So I don't know what this means, it could mean that maybe Jimmy was going to fall in acid during the chase as well, I don't know. But I think it's really interesting to think about because it shows Rockstar did actually intend for this acid to play a rather major part in the mission for it to just fail instantly like that, you know. So this confirms that Jimmy falling in acid in the fight of Edgar is 100% true. However, this heavily implies that the part of the script was changed because of how abrupt the whole thing is. And the only thing that remains of this is just the mission failure reason. But this also does debunk something that many people believed, that this was an alternate ending to the game. If you get Jimmy to trigger the acid in the mission, the mission does restart as normal, so technically this is just a generic mission failure reason. But Jimmy dying in acid is basically confirmed to be real. However, Jimmy's death is more in the GTA kind of way, where Jimmy's just fine a couple of seconds later rather than him canonically dying. Also, I just want to point out that Rockstar had a similar gory death for Michael in Grand Theft Auto V in the mission Fresh Meat, where um, if you don't save him in time, this happens. So Rockstar can be pretty damn ruthless when they want to be. So that's about it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more buddy based content and that. If you want to support me in a more personal way, consider donating me on Patreon or becoming a member of my channel. So thank you for watching and have a great day.